Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight chill. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice. Try to establish that jab. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Under three minutes. Matt, we're in take round out leg. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Close guard. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Under two minutes now to go in round one. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Horn sounds for the end of round one. Ready? Ready? Round two is underway. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Punch over the top. Well, at this point, he's really got to think about mixing things up, change levels a little bit, try to slow your opponent down by working the body. At this point, he's really been a headhunter. Got to mix things up in modern-day mixed martial arts. Edgar gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, what a punch. Back to the jab now, no good. Loaded up with that right hand, too. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight 
behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. What a punch. Nice, sneaky head kick. to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Let's get going now. Unable to land with that punch. Oh! Edgar's kick blocked. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big punch land. Ooh. Timely defense there, huge block for him. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. section in this fight. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Good stick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Straight right hand now just misses. Blocks the shot. Oh, my Just over the edge. I like that left hand. He's got him right here. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed as which he throws is crazy. Lands a double leg takedown. Under two minutes to go in round three. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past Whoa! the guard. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Hammer fist. Oh, he 
postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Nice elbow. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, take down, cut, take down, cut. Over and over, he secured these takedowns. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Rob Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game in those interviews. Worship, 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 the chances are that my life can't be true. 